everyone. May the good Lord bless you and guide you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our topic today is how to hear the voice of God clearly. One of the greatest benefits of our salvation has to be that, that of hearing God speak to us personally. There can be no imitated relationship with our Heavenly Father without it. But as easy as it is, as it is for us to speak to Him, the average Christian has a hard time hearing His voice. This is not the way the Lord intended it to be. Hallelujah. This is why I'm just doing this little video for you to listen very well. Learning to clearly distinguish God's voice is inevitable. Instead of going through life blindly, we can have the wisdom of God guide and protect us. There isn't a single person receiving this video today who couldn't have their lives radically transformed by hearing the voice of the Lord better. The worst marital problem is one word from the Lord away from a total turnaround. If you have sickness or disease, one living word from the Lord will instantly heal you. If you are in a financial crisis, the Lord knows exactly how to turn your situation around. It's just a matter of hearing His voice. The Lord constantly speaks to us and gives us His direction. It's never the Lord who is not speaking, but it's us who are not hearing. Who are not hearing? Jesus made some radical statements about hearing his voice. In the book of John, chapter 10, verse 3 to 5, he was speaking about himself as the shepherd of the sheep and the only way to enter the sheepfold. To him, the porter opened and the sheep hear his voice, and he called his sheep by name and led them out. And when he put forth his sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Hallelujah. The first thing we need to do is fix our receivers. Believe that God is already speaking and start listening. However, that takes time effort and focus the average christian's lifestyle is so busy that it isn't conducive to hearing god's voice for instance what is your typical answer to the question how are you many of you probably answer something about being very busy i often say i'm busier than a one arm paper hanger <laughs> hallelujah all of us seem to be busier than ever and that's one of the big reasons we don't hear the voice of the Lord better. We are just too busy. Too busy at all times. Child of God. The voice of God is there for you to listen. So what are you doing? Some people when they pray, they just rise up and go. But not waiting to hear the voice of God. God speaks. God talks. So it's for you to listen to the voice of God and know what to do. Whenever God talks to us, a little word from God will help us in years to come. There's a boy I know. The boy always pray with me, with his parents. One day, the boy says that he heard a voice that God says, I will help you. That word alone is the word that has been leading this boy. Anywhere he goes, whatever he wants to do, any business he's doing, he just believed that that word that God tell him that he will help him ends everything. Believe the word of God today. Almighty God will help you, no matter what you're facing in your life, no matter how, wherever you are, your country, whatever you are doing, just hope in God. 
Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He will help you. God does not disappoint. And remember, God does not tell lies. Just believe in his word and know whom Jesus Christ is. Know whom Jesus Christ is personally. Have relationship with him. He will help you. He will guide you. He will protect you in everything you want. God speaks and God hears. May the good Lord bless you and guide you and protect you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Please remember to subscribe to Wisdom TV Nigeria and share this little video. May the Lord bless you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen.